Hello, welcome to another video about additional mathematics and mathematics. We are now going to deal with another question in additional mathematics that involves graphs of a modulus linear equation and solving modulus equation using the graph that we are going to sketch. This is found in the May June paper 1 2004. Okay? The first question is to sketch on the same diagram the graphs of y is equal to the modulus of 2x plus 3 and y is equal to 1 minus x. Basically, in graphing a modulus of a linear equation, okay? So when we say modulus, it means everything should be on top of the x-axis. Why? Because modulus means everything is positive. Okay? In graphing, again, a linear equation, there are a lot of methods, but basically I'm going to use the x and y intercept method. So I'm going to look first for the y intercept. Okay? You've learned from your mathematics that y is equal to mx plus c. c is the y-intercept. Okay? It is the value of the c. So it means this can be written as 0, 3. Because the c is 3, so it's 0, 3. Next, we are going to solve for x-intercept. x-intercept of this one is when you make y is equal to 0. So that's a basic thing, and you've learned that in your mathematics. So let's make y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal now to 2x plus 3. Don't mind the modulus yet. Okay. So it will become negative 3 is equal to 2x. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Thus, your x-intercept should be written as a point or an ordered pair. So it means, if I made already y is equal to 0, then x-intercept will be negative 3 over 2, comma, 0. And remember, negative 3 over 2 is 1.5. So the intercepts can be plotted on the diagram. I have 0, 3. 0, 3 will be here x-intercept is negative 3 over 2 or negative 1.5, 0. So it's between 1 and 2, negative 1 and negative 2. It's negative 1.5. It's here. And then I have to connect the two intercepts just to form the line. I am supposed to be drawing a line going straight and continuously going here if there is no modulus. But since there's a modulus sign over here, I cannot continue going down because I should not have a negative value of the y. Therefore, I am going to, instead of drawing it here, I am going to flip it over to the, to the uh, positive values, which reflect on the x-axis. But I need to consider the distance from 0 to the x-intercept. I have a 1.5 distance. So I'll have 1.5 distance as well in here. Thus, I have a 3. Okay. To make it balance, this is 3. So I'll have 3 and 3 over here. So it will be over here. Then connect this point to that point that I made, 3, 3. Then you got the proper drawing or proper sketching. Okay? This is now the graph of y is equal to the modulus of y is equal to 2 plus 3. It's very important that we have to label the graph y is equal to the modulus of 2x plus 3. Okay? Next to sketch is the y is equal to 1 minus x. Okay, this can be written as y is equal to negative x 
plus 1. Therefore, the y-intercept here, again, y is equal to mx plus c. So c is 1. So therefore, the y-intercept, just like what we did over here, therefore, the y-intercept is 0, 1. And the value of the x-intercept, value of x-intercept, again, I repeat, x-intercept can be found when we make y 0. So if I make y 0, 0 is equal to negative x plus 1. Therefore, x is equal to 1. Thus, x-intercept will become 1, 0. Okay? Now, we plot the points of the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Plotting it, it's 0, 1 over here and 1, 0 over here. Therefore, I can already connect the two intercepts then I'll have the graph. Okay? Why did I continue going down? It's because there is no modulus over there. Okay? That's the first problem. The second problem is find the values of x for which x plus the modulus of 2x plus 3 is equal to 1. If you are going to notice this is related to the first problem. Okay? Usually in IGCSE, additional mathematics, if I have I and II, okay, II or Roman numeral number 2 is always connected with the Roman numeral number 1. Therefore, I can use the answers that I have in Roman numeral number 1 to answer Roman numeral number 2, but it's not necessarily... For example, in here, I can solve this algebraically or I can solve this using the graph or the diagram that I have. Okay, So, to find the values of x, there will be two methods. Okay, I'll show first the first method by solving it algebraically. Okay, So, the modulus of 2x plus 3 is equal to, I'll put the x on the right side, so 1 minus x. Okay, now I can solve it with two solutions. One is a positive value of this, and the other one is a negative value of the expression 1 minus x. So it will become 2x plus 3. This is solution number 1, is equal to 1 minus x. And solution number 2 is... 2x plus 3 times i is equal to the negative value of the expression 1 minus x. Thus, it will now become 3x is equal to negative 2. How come it becomes 3x equals to negative 2? I put the negative x on the, or I subtracted I added x to both sides, so 2x plus x is 3x. And I subtracted 3 both sides, so 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Okay, next is x now will become negative 2 over 3. That's the first answer. That's the first value of the x. Second value of the x will be solved in this. So it will become 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 1 plus x. If we combine similar terms, it will become x is equal to negative 4. Therefore, the second solution is x is equal to negative 4. But again, as I've told you, there are two methods that we can use. One is doing this. So I got x is equal to negative 2 over 3 and x is equal to negative 4. But another method is I can use the diagram. Okay, If I am accurate enough with my diagram, I can immediately tell that if you are going to notice, 
I can already tell the solutions by getting the intersection points of the two graphs. Okay. By the way, I haven't uh, labeled this y is equal to 1 minus x. Oh no, this one. Okay, this one should be labeled as y is equal to 1 minus x. So I have y is equal to the modulus of 2x plus 3 and I have y is equal to 1 minus x. The intersection points are this, this point and this point. Okay, if you are accurate enough in your sketch, then you can immediately find out that this part, okay, this part is negative 2 over 3. Okay, this part is negative 2 over 3. And this part, okay, this part will be 4, negative 4. Okay, so you have two solutions. Okay, so method number 2, method 2 is using, if this is method 2, this is method 1. Method 2, you will now have just use the graph. So x, first value, intersection, the x value is negative 2 over 3. And the second solution is negative 4. No need for further working because you already know how to use the diagram. Now, in your marking scheme, you can uh, see the, that the answers for 0606, paper 1, May, June 2004, number 3. So, the first Roman numeral number 1, it says, we can give one mark for giving the negative value of the slope and the positive value of the slope but if once in an examiner sees that you have graph it letter V it looks like letter V then they can immediately give you one mark in there also we need to uh, get the vertex negative H0 which means I have to get the, y, the x intercept of the modulus linear equation. Then you can get one mark. And of course, drawing the line of y is equal to 1 minus x will also get one mark. A total of three marks. For the Roman numeral number 2, getting the value of x is equal to negative 2 over 3 wherein 2x plus 3 is equal to 1 minus x as a positive value if we put 1 minus x as a positive expression then you will get one mark in there but if you put 1 minus x as an expression and you put a negative sign. So, 1 mark for 2x plus 3 is equal to negative value of 1 minus x. We'll get 1 mark. And also, another mark for x is equal to negative 4. Thank you for watching this video. Hope that you subscribe with our channel for future videos that we are going to make.